That's wild, look at that. These days, skincare and cosmetics companies are packing SPF into a variety of their products. We're talking lotions, sticks, powders, sprays, it's extensive. And while these products have been tested in the lab to make sure they actually deliver the SPF on the packaging, they don't always tell you how much you need to apply. Like, they tell you to apply liberally, but what does that actually mean? And does it matter if I use a stick or a lotion or a spray? So today, I'm going to perform a not totally scientific test of some broad spectrum sunscreens using the TV camera. While this camera isn't a perfect measure of UV protection, it'll be able to show whether I get an even application or not. Most of the products that I'll be using are what are commonly called chemical sunscreens. That means they contain ingredients like avobenzone and octinoxate that absorb UV rays to stop them from damaging the DNA in your skin. That DNA damage is what causes sunburn, skin cancer, and eventually wrinkles. First, I'll be trying a sunscreen stick, which I'm kind of excited about because it seems really convenient and kind of fun to apply. Oh, that's, that's very effective. That's wild, look at that. You can blend it, it's solid. Love it. I don't know if I'd want to use this on my whole face. It's kind of greasy, it might like clog my pores a little bit, but I mean, it's surely blocking the UV rays. Now I'm gonna try some powder makeup that claims to have an SPF of 30. I'm a little skeptical of this because dermatologists say you can't really rely on the SPF in makeup. Really seeing much of anything. No, well, maybe a slight, slight darkening, a slight blockage, but I guess I was right to be skeptical. It's not very effective. Mm. See what happens if I keep piling it on. Yeah, I mean, compared to the stick, it's a little. Not great, not great compared to the stick. Next, I'm gonna try a relatively new product on the market. It's an SPF 50 facial setting spray that claims it can protect you from the sun without messing up your makeup. Well there, that showed up a little bit. You can definitely see it's not a wide breadth of coverage and it's a little spotty. Um, yeah, I'd be wary of using this too. I guess maybe it would be good if you already used lotion underneath your makeup and then you could use it as an extra boost perhaps, but yeah, I would not rely on a, like a setting spray either for SPF protection alone. A lot of it kind of blew in the wind too, it just was, you know, it's not like it, all of this product went on my face, so maybe it was a little wasteful as well. Next, I'm gonna try a good old fashioned lotion sunscreen. I'm gonna do some lotion on this half of my face and we'll see what happens. Oh man, that's the stuff. Yeah, that looks about as effective as the gold standard, the stick. Um, yeah, it looks like I missed, I guess I missed around my eyeball. Um, and kind of underneath my nose a little bit. Um, but yeah, that looks, I mean, that makes me feel a lot better if I was going out in the sun, for sure. It's definitely blocking a lot of the rays. Oh, and I totally miss my ear. I always forget my ears. No, don't forget your ears. I would definitely feel very comfortable going out in the sun with this, you know, as opposed to like just some powder or spray. Like this, this really looks like it's blocking and absorbing those UV rays for sure. And I forgot, I have this lip balm with SPF 30. Uh, you also have to protect your lips. Your lips get sunburned too. Oh yeah, see? It's great, love to see it. It looks like lipstick in this camera. Nice. Now I'm gonna try to apply liberally to get one half of my face completely covered and we can compare the two. That's just wild. It's very comforting to know that the sunscreen really works. And it's not just, you know, I mean, we trust the science, but this is just a whole new, whole new world. I'm gonna try to rub it in a little bit. See, the way you apply sunscreen really matters. Like for me, I always miss my ears and the area on my eyes, but it also seems that the lotion out of all of them was definitely the way to go for a base, although the stick was also very impressive. And I also like the spray and maybe a, a powder um, as a touch-up if you have a good base layer. 
but uh, I wouldn't really rely on them alone. Um, I feel much more comfortable with my trusty lotion or stick like on this side. But it really just goes to show how much your application technique matters. Remember, it's important to wear sunscreen all year round to protect yourself from skin cancer and premature aging. UV rays can still damage your skin in the winter. Seeing the results from this UV cam has definitely inspired me to keep up with my daily sunscreen habit.